So this song is essentially coming to terms with the fact that why can't we just realize that nobody wins if we keep fighting, but we seem to turn to that direction, kind of because it's the laziest, easiest route, when actually surrendering to each other is exciting, but terrifying and scary and sometimes really difficult to do. Tell me something. Who's hurting? Who's hurting? Who's Hurting Who is, I, I've always been fascinated with those songs that talk about the fine line between love and hate. And one of my favorite songs is You Only Hurt The One You Love. Um, and I love the element of how scary it is to surrender and how easy it is to fight. So this song kind of, there's a more serious tone to this song lyrically than the music might give away. There's this one part in I think it's, I think it's verse two. <laughs> it is verse two. Here, where it goes. Both of us are victims of each other's contradictions. When our instincts meet, we can't break through. And then it goes into the chorus. But I love this kind of, both of us are victims of each other's. There's like this purposeful lyric hidden within like a groove. So those lyrics mean a lot to me. But they're not shoved, forced upon you. They're for you to figure out once you've been kind of drawn in to the aesthetics of the sound. So when I came up with the whole concept of Europeana, which is the name of the album, Europeana is not a sound. It's about perpetuating music from the past rather than imitating it. So even though I was going for, I was being influenced by the feeling of the Americana sort of 70s disco funk and soul movement, what makes it Europeana is adding the tradition of storytelling to it. And I wanted these songs to have that in there. On Who's Hurting Who, like many times before, I wanted to put what I call a Nile Rogers style guitar lick in the song. And when I suggested this to my producer of the song, Mark Ralph, his response was, why don't we ask now? So yeah, the Nile Rodgers sound is, um, and again, I'm saying this not as a qualified musician, but as a fan, um, because I can't even attempt to do what Nile does. But I search for it a lot in a lot of my songs with that, that rhythm guitar feeling, that sort of, it's the waka waka that I think everybody kind of knows it as. It's that disco guitar sound that now we're so familiar with, which you hear, in the Bee Gees, you hear it in Daft Punk. We're coming in there. Okay, now I gotta look for some records. I'm aware that Who's Hurting Who is definitely gonna surprise people. Um, and it might not be what was expected for my first single for my new album. But I hope that there's a lot of unexpected moments when people listen to my new record. This was a huge influence on a lot of the sound of this record. This is an amazing French film from 1966. I, mean, I, don't I haven't made a record to shock. I mean, look at that. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? Ricchi e poveri. But I've definitely made a record to tap into music that I grew up with that maybe I hadn't acknowledged about how much of an influence it actually had on me.